Ladies and gentlemen, the new Cayenne S and the new Cayenne Turbo. Please welcome the chairman of the executive board, Mr. Oliver Blume. The all new Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Today, the top of the range model of our SUV lineup is given its world premiere in Frankfurt. With that, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Porsche. The Cayenne has always been a high performance all rounder. It combines pronounced sportiness with luxurious comfort. And it stands for fascinating sporting mobility in any situation. Its most obvious talent is versatility. It drives safely and reliably off the road in forests, mountains, deserts, on ice, snow and mud, as it does on the road, on the autobahn, in the city jungle and twisty country roads. Today to the office, tomorrow to the off-road course and on the weekend to the racetrack. The Kien always guarantees ambience, precision and driving appeal. And that hasn't changed across the different generations, except that each generation was just a little better than the last one. Better than before. That was also the motto for the new, the third generation. We've revised the Cayenne Turbo from the ground up and perfected it in all aspects, tangibly and visibly. Not only have we enhanced its sporting abilities, we've also made it more digital and connected. Even at first glance, the new turbo looks dominant, like a model in its own right. Never before has there been such a big difference between the turbo and its brothers as now in the third generation. When the 550 horsepower of the new V8 bi-turbo engine come alive, they take the Cayenne Turbo from 0 to 100 in less than 4 seconds. The top speed is a stunning 286 kph. The Cayenne Turbo is equipped as standard with extremely luxurious features and there are almost unlimited possibilities to expand and personalize it. It offers high levels of quality and safety. Its highly sporty performance arouses enthusiasm. Its fascinating driving dynamics are unique in the SUV class. Never before has a Porsche off-roader had more 911 DNA. Just for example, to illustrate my point, the Cayenne Turbo features the rear axle steering familiar from the 911 a tire mix carried over from sports car design and electric anti-roll stabilization. Plus, there's a new lightweight chassis with three, a three-chamber air suspension system, which makes for outstanding agility in any situation. Another innovation is the adaptive roof spoiler, which not only provides extra downfalls over the rear axle, but also supports the deceleration effect of the newly engineered Porsche surface-coated high-performance brake that's fitted as standard on the Cayenne Turbo. Inside, there's also a much higher level of sportiness and comfort. For the first time, both the driver and the front passenger have adaptive sports seats with integrated headrests, much like a thoroughbred sports car. They're looking at a newly revised dashboard and center console, our new digitized Porsche Advanced Cockpit, in which smartphone-like touch screens replace much of the analog controls and switchgear. All functions and new digital services and systems can be used intuitively, for instance, night vision assist or traffic jam assist, which allows for semi-autonomous driving in stop-and-go traffic. And the Cayenne Turbo is fully connected and always online. 
It features an online voice recognition system that can not only be used to operate the new Porsche Connect services such as the standard fit online navigation with real-time traffic information. It can also be used to operate the air conditioner or the seat heating. Other innovations include the forward-looking cruise control system, Porsche InnoDrive, a precursor of autonomous driving, the new rim protection assist, and the Porsche Off-Road Precision app, which allows you to record and improve your off-road trips. In summary, the Kian Turbo combines the precision of a sports car with the comfort of a luxurious long-distance sedan and the versatility of an off-roader. With this top-of-the-range model, we once more deliver on our promise to offer class-leading performance in the SUV segment too. As well as the eight-cylinder turbo, there'll be an entry-level model with V6 petrol engines and the Cayenne S with further Porsche-style engines in the pipeline. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cayenne has been a tremendous success. With this model series, we successfully extrapolated the Porsche myth to a completely new market segment in 2002. Over the past 15 years, in fact more than 50 years, the sports car among SUVs has been a bestseller and growth driver. Ever before have the expectations for sporty performance in the SUV segment been higher than now with the third generation Cayenne. And talking about sporty performance, 